Good morning and happy Friday, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for 7 July 26th, 2019. So, hey everyone, what a day we had yesterday. A little bit of pullback, a little bit of concern. So what happened yesterday? What was going on? Why the selling all of a sudden snapping that winning streak that we had uh, moving on in the market? Well, First off, we had a durable goods number that came in way stronger than expected. That raised some significant concerns that the FOMC could uh, be less aggressive or even back away from a potential rate cut. As these economic numbers continue to come in strong, it may give that FOMC a little bit of pause um, about actually cutting that rate. So that created a little bit of turmoil in the price action yesterday. And then the ECB came out, which was largely expected to cut rates yesterday. And they decided to skip. And even though signaling a rate cut is coming, uh, decided to skip um, this month for that rate cut. That also kind of added some um, worry to the market that maybe uh, we may not get that rate cut or it may not be as aggressive as once expected. Um, it would it would appear that the the much stronger than expected earnings results kind of confirms what those economic numbers are showing that, hey, we haven't had too bad a time here The um, that our economy is strong. And certainly, as we've been breaking new record highs to the top side, uh, building a case for um, lowering rates um, could be a problem. So let's watch that closely. This morning, we could have um, important data on that, and I'll talk about that in just a minute. So let's take a look at what happened here in the diamonds, and let's take a look at what's going on. So first off, as you can see, we are still maintaining this upside trend. There is, at least at this time, um, nothing in the chart that suggests we are in imminent danger of, of a tremendous failure in the market. But we are kind of on the borderline here on the diamonds on whether or not we're going to hold on to this trend. Remember yesterday, I said it was going to be very critical or important. We wanted to see the market hold above those tails right here. And at one point, we actually slipped below that and ended up rallying back just a little bit yesterday before the end of the day and holding on to that level. So if that were to fail, if we were to actually get a failure through here, we're going to look for the Dow to maybe dip back into this area. But the good news is this is relatively strong price support at the moment. So hopefully that would hold price support. Now, if we can use these earnings that have been really, really strong, I mean, obviously earnings have been quite strong um, the last um few days here they they've just been surprising folks all over the place if those remain uh, strong it is even possible that the diamonds finds that energy and pops on through and makes that new record high here on a friday let's take a look we can see that futures currently are looking at a nice bullish open ahead of that ahead of earnings reports and ahead of the gdp so certainly anything is possible here and that bounce back up off of this support area could supply just enough energy to those bulls to really elevate if those earnings keep coming in and depending on how that GDP number might come out this morning. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY also maintaining this upside trend. And you guys know that I've been um, drawing this trend a little bit differently than most of you might expect, but I've been drawing this trend right here and kind of ignoring this uh, big V bottom uh, thing that occurred in here when um, the FOMC finally, you know, came out and said, hey, we're thinking about cutting rates and all of a sudden the market just went crazy. So 
um, rising up really, really strong, and there's really nothing at all here of major concern in the uh, in the SPY, holding up very, very well. Just an inside day yesterday, and as you can see, futures are looking to push this market higher this morning, and we're so close to another breakout. We could easily see um, new record highs today as long as that GDP number doesn't frighten the market and if um, earnings continue to roll in as strong as they are. So watch that closely. We might actually get some help here from the queues lifting the rest of the market up because we had such good earnings results overnight last night uh, or, or after the bell yesterday from um, some of the big techs. So we had Intel, Intel reporting better than expected and that's moving the market up. We had Google um, really blowing the doors off of their earnings reports. The real major disappointment yesterday was came from Facebook missing on their earnings and looking um, just, I mean, excuse me, Amazon, not Facebook, Amazon, um, and looking just a little bit lower. The revenues were strong. Their um, earnings per share was a miss, and so they're looking a little bit lower this morning. That, that could have a big drag here on um, the index. But as you can see, we're very, very close to a new record high, even at the open. Uh, it would seem unlikely to me that we don't reach out there sometime uh, during the day and set that new record high in the queues. And that could help lift the diamonds in the spy um, with that bullishness coming into the NASDAQ. So watch that closely. Let's take a look at IWM. Now that darn IWM started to give us all kinds of warm and fuzzies that we were going to finally break this downtrend popping through there on Wednesday and then reversed that move, um, kind of a bearish piercing candle, breaking more than 50% of that up candle yesterday. Um, so now we're back in that little bit of a concern point. Is this just going to be another failure at price resistance as we've seen before. Let's watch this pretty closely. Right now, you know, futures are, uh, like I said, positive this morning and indicating a little tiny bit of a lift here in IWM. So watch that closely to see if we can maybe come on up out of there um, and hold on to this area. Remember, there's still um, a good possibility that we hold this level as support as long as we continue to see these good earnings um, roll in. Let's take a look at um, the VIX. Yesterday I mentioned the VIX um, giving me some concern, um, significant concern of complacency. Uh, we did get a little bit of a rally out of that yesterday that slipped considerably by the end of the day. A lot of back and forth, a lot of indecisive price action yesterday. Uh, very, very frustrating price, price action, as a matter of fact. But we're still holding this downtrend in the VIX, and we're still down here threatening to maybe even slip into an 11 handle um, on this bullish action this morning. So um, right now, currently, the futures are pointing to um, that nice bullish open. As a matter of fact, Dow futures are pointing to a about a 76-point um, climb this morning um, on those futures. So um, we could see that VIX slumping back um, yet again and pushing down here to test this level of support. So let's keep an eye on this VIX. I really think there's some complacency building into the market here, and um, that is raising a concern for me, but I have to stay with the direction of the market right now. Those trends are bullish. So even though I have this, this little bit of concern that we're seeing some complacency, I certainly don't want to trade that yet until I see that in the price action of the chart. So um, right in here, we could see that little bit of a consolidation or that little bit of winding around as we continue to form this wedge pattern um, in the VIX. So watch that closely. Um, it, it may be a clue for us um, if, if fear starts to come up here, um, when and if it starts to come up here.
we'll want to keep an eye on it. Let's take a look at T2122. Yesterday I mentioned T2122 was poking up there and with the gap up that we had um, in coming in the market yesterday that we would be reaching up here into this bearish reversal zone. And that seemed to play out pretty well here overall. We had, a, although the, we had a very, very choppy day that was uh, uh, quite a little bit of selling going into the market, but here we have a big gap up bullish open looking to happen today. So we're likely to move this right back up into here pretty quickly. And if we happen to break out all time new highs on the queues or something like that, we could once again, as we go into next week, be facing a situation where we're up here in that bearish reversal zone and we'll have to consider that. So what I would like to suggest is, is be very thoughtful about um, your holdings as you as we go into the weekend. If you've got good profits, it might be wise to take some profits. Just thinking about the possibility of the, the very challenging um, price volatility that we are likely to see next week with nearly um, 1,200 companies on the calendar to report. So we could see lots and lots of volatility. And we also have a little bit of uncertainty um, with um, Iran kind of raising the stakes, firing a missile with, with um, the uh, North Koreans uh, rattling sabers here just a little bit, uh, firing a couple missiles. So we have this little bit of uncertainty heading into the weekend. Remember to think about that as you consider what you hold into the weekend, maybe take some profits and um, just be a little bit cautious of where we might be by the end of the day if we really get that big bullish move that the futures are showing us at the moment. With that, let's take a look at our economic calendar. And this is the thing that really is going to be interesting this morning. Um, we have that big GDP number. Now, if the GDP number comes in weak, that will probably help the FOMC stay on course for a rate cut next week. However, if we were to get a surprise number like we did in the durable goods, that GDP number coming in stronger than expected, that might give or, or might be a kind of a difficult thing for the FOMC to, um, to move forward with a rate cut. So we'll have to watch that pretty closely uh, this morning. It could be very telling as to where the market actually goes today. We could see a little bearishness come into the market if that number is stronger than expected. However, if it's weaker than expected, that could help fuel the market higher, um, you know, break those records, um, great earnings reports, all those kind of things. And then the FOMC may be still expecting to cut rates. So watch that pretty closely this morning. That will be pretty critical, I think, today and could be very telling as to where we eventually end up going this uh, this Friday. So watch that pretty close. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a great day and I want to wish you great profits. It's been an incredible week for us at Rightway Options and I hope it has been for you as well. Um, hey, I want to remind you that if you take a look at the, um, just below, just below the title, there is a description in the video and in the description of the bit of the video, there will be a link back to the blog. And I wanted to remind everyone that today is the last day that you can have an opportunity to maybe pick up, um, right way options. If you have any interest in it at all, I'm not suggesting that you do. But if you have any interest in it at all, you have um, today is the last day to be able to pick it up, uh, pick up a monthly um, membership at a 50% discount. So take a look at that if you're interested and uh, make sure and click that link below and go take a look at the blog anyway. All right. So with that, um, let's. Uh, I just want to say thank you to everyone who watches these videos. You know, I'm, I'm always so humbled. Um, I, I posted a video last night, um, late last night, around uh, 9 o'clock last night, and um, had more than 100 people watching that video uh, before I headed off to bed. 
uh, very, very humbling. And I want to say thank you to so to all of you folks who take the time to watch these videos, um, clicking those thumbs up buttons, leaving comments. So if this is the first time you've seen these videos, please do me a favor and click that subscribe button. And also follow through if you feel like the video is worthy click that thumbs up button and leave a comment. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. It doesn't have to be um, a big, long um, uh, comment. Just anything um, helps those algorithms show these videos to more people and allows us to continue to grow this channel. Thank you to everyone who does that. You guys are awesome. Uh, honestly, you mean the world to me. I truly, truly appreciate it. Thank you very much. And with that, let's take a look at some stocks that could be showing some signs of, you know, those really good patterns that we want to keep an eye on. One of those is Microsoft. Microsoft holding up very, very well. Um, after, you know, at their earnings report, and we had that really ugly selling right after their earnings report, but doggone, we're holding up really, whoops, sorry, I got a, that on a two day. Here was that, that earnings report. We gapped up and pulled all the way back, but now here we are pushing up higher here, looking really, really good. So you might want to keep an eye on Microsoft. There may be some opportunity here that we would want to keep an eye on. It's looking really, really good overall. Take a look at STZ. STZ I've been mentioning for a while and I've even suggested after a broke through right here to watch this closely. It may continue to consolidate right over here to the trend and every day we just kind of inch an inch closer to that trend. We want to start watching this for that possibility of that entry signal if STZ can get going to the upside. So keep an eye on that. Looking pretty good overall. Like the chart and I think um, it's looking pretty impressive. Let's take a look at TTWO. TTWO, been kind of struggling up in here, a long consolidation, but yesterday, well, excuse me, popped on through and followed through yesterday and looking pretty good. TTWO might be one to keep an eye on. Uh, remember guys that any of these charts that I bring up in this video are not meant to encourage you to buy or sell any security at all. They are um, part of the study of, of what we do, looking at the price patterns, those kind of things. So these might be a watch list chart, something for you to evaluate, but they are certainly not a reason to buy or sell a security, okay? Um, take a look right here. This is going to be reporting earnings on 8.5. So you will always want to be paying attention to those earnings reports as well as you watch uh, these charts um, as we move forward because a lot of these earnings results are certainly going to move companies around significantly. Let's take a look at RH. RH I mentioned yesterday and that popped through after this nice little tight consolidation. Yesterday pulling back getting a little rest. We've seen a lot of that recently where we'll pop through and then we immediately sell it back off before we head back higher. So watch that closely. If um, RH can gain a little energy today, um, we'll want to watch and see if that can move up. Yesterday I mentioned UAL as one of those charts, and that is exactly what happened here on UAL. We had a gap down, a move down, and then um, some point in the day, we moved all the way back up here and pushed back up. So we're getting all that back and forth in the market. What's interesting about this um, indecisive candle today is it's kind of a refusal of the stock to move down. So you still want to keep an eye on this, that potential of popping out. And someone pointed out um, from the video yesterday that we're getting very close to these highs up here. And that is true. But just because we're reaching highs doesn't mean that the stock has to stop. So there is resistance up here to be thinking about, but we've seen these stocks breaking through these resistance levels and not even stopping, just continuing to move higher. So um, still a very good pattern, a very good stepper pattern, um, looking very, very strong. Um, take a look at Lulu. Lulu was one of those that I brought up yesterday, moved up nicely, followed through just a little bit yesterday morning and then pulled back with weakness of the overall market. But here, once again, we have that chart that may be trying to prove that it can hold this new level. So if we keep an eye on that chart, we want to see um, maybe a test down in here and then a hold 
buyers stepping that up. So keep an eye on that if it can hold. If it fails back through there, then you know all bets are off. But this is still one to potentially watch for that move higher. I'd also bring your attention to BAX. This is how uh, crazy this market has been here lately. We we sink down, we rally all the way back up, look like we're going to break out, and then we get that full-on reversal um, yesterday showing a bearish engulfing. Now, what will be interesting to see today is if we actually get a follow-through. Remember, a bearish engulfing candle really means nothing without a follow-through. So if this were to find some buyers in here and pick back up, you might want to keep an eye on BSX. A lot of confusing price action, a lot of back and forth here that just makes you go, wow, it's hard to believe um, so much choppiness uh, that we're seeing in the volatility of the market during earnings. Last but not least, Visa. Visa had a great earnings report, moved up nicely, and then here again, once again, yesterday we took most of that back. But watch that closely as this moves in toward this trend. Still an opportunity for that to move higher. And remember, no follow through to that candle uh, would mean a the possibility that upside could still be there. And notice we've we've had that before here in this chart. Big old bearish engulfing candle, no follow through, back to the upside. So watch that pretty careful. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a great day. Please remember to click those subscribe buttons and click those thumbs up buttons and leave a comment. I want to wish you all the very best of weekends. Take care of yourselves and we'll see you right back here bright and early Monday morning. Thank you, everyone. I wish you all the best.